Hello, welcome to other GTB South Sudan Global. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe as we will continue to bring you informative videos. Let's dive in. Rotational presidency has been the much talk about topic on the political highways. So what is the rotational presidency? What are its advantages and how can they benefit South Sudan? Power rotation takes two forms. A geopolitical power rotation in a way that no class or ethnicity should occupy all the positions in government departments at the expense of the other ethnicities. And physical rotation where economic development is rotated among the ethnicities or region. In Africa, Nigeria and Tanzania use a rotational presidency. Nigeria informally introduced the concept of a rotational presidency in the late 1990s to address the perennial problems of hegemonies, marginalization, and domination of minority tribes by majority tribes in Nigerian polity. However, the kind of rotational presidency Nigeria has means one kind of group entirely controls the levers of power until the time they exit the stage in favor of incoming groups that limit electoral choices for the masses. According to Olayemi Emmanuel Oladele, University of KwaZulu-Natal, another major problem is that the concept is prone to unchecked greed, massive corruption, and immaturity of political elites. Suggestions for addressing the problems of winners take all in relation to rotational presidency are many, but are not discussed in our current analysis because of time limit. In our case as South Sudanese, rotational presidency is a concept we should explore after a thorough study, deeply understanding its merits and demerits before South Sudan adopts is crucial for the survivability of our nation. So what are the benefits of a rotational presidency to South Sudan? Here are five benefits of a rotational presidency to South Sudan. Number one, promote national cohesion. The quest for political power has been a major cause of tribal or regional rivalries in South Sudan. The reason is because the control of political power brings a lot of economic gain to the tribes or regions in power, breeding the sense of exclusion among those tribes or regions that are not in power. But if all tribes or regions believe that their turn to be in power is coming, there will be no need to fight for political space. The end result will be the maximization of cooperation among tribes or regions instead of competition. Number two, eliminates post electoral violence. Agitation for political power among political elites is what caused electoral violence in Africa. This is because some regional tribes feel if they don't act when the elections go the other way, the winning regional tribes will hijack all the pillars of the government. The speculation is that the losing side of the elections is left with no choice but to express their displeasure by protesting or demonstrating. In most cases, those demonstrations lead to death, displacement, and damage of property. South Sudan has never held general elections with the exception of the successful 2011 referendum. Rotational presidency, where power can go from the current region to others, if adopted before South Sudan holds the 2025 general elections will reduce chances of post electoral skirmishes. Number three, uniform national development. Given that every region has its stand at the aim of a country's leadership, 
there is a high chance of achieving uniform development across the country. However, we base this assumption on the pretext that those in power will not develop appetite for eating public funds. The main foreseeable problem is leaders from the same region in power sabotaging their development by siphoning off public funds. Number four, eliminate fear of domination. With each of the three regions of South Sudan, Bar al Khazal, Equatoria, and Upper Nile taking its stand at the aim of a country's leadership, the prevailing fear of domination by one region over the others is neutralized. This can bring stability to South Sudan. Number five, eradicate ethnic or regional stereotypes. South Sudan is a watch with ethnic or regional stereotypes, e.g. certain ethnicities or regions are perceived to overlap political power, while others are believed to be prone to violence or not intellectually gifted. A rotational presidency can put an end to these baseless stereotypes in that there is weakness or strength of human character regardless of where each human being originates from. You will be surprised to witness region or ethnicities you have been programmed to misjudge as not capable of providing good leadership outperforming your region or tribe. In conclusion, life on earth is a trial and error. A competent human being must try out many ideas if he or she wants to get ahead in life. It is our hope that South Sudanese will try out a rotational presidency. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to South Sudan Global.